So if you think that your savings are safe, well, think again. The interest you earn on your savings might trigger a little known tax threshold meaning you might be liable to pay more tax on your hard-earned savings. Now, millions of people in the UK unknowingly fall into this trap, but it doesn't have to be you. So I want to walk you through how this tax works in reality, and importantly, what steps you can take to avoid paying this tax. Now, this is going to help you protect your savings and keep them exactly where they belong and not in the HMRC coffers. So welcome back to the Personal Finance Crew. And if this is your first time, a very warm welcome to the Economies channel, where together we're gonna to be learning the language of money and wealth. We're also dedicated to mastering money and making financial wisdom available to absolutely everybody. Hi, my name is Simon, and I'm a Chartered Financial Planner, normally based in the UK, but I'm recording this video just for you in the paradise island of Ibiza, and it's such a gorgeous day. So why don't you follow me back to the studio and we can get into this week's topic together. I'll see you in a minute. And welcome back to the studio, but apologies about the sign behind me. One of my dogs crept in the studio last night like some sort of canine ninja. And they've destroyed it limb from limb. I'm trying to get a replacement, so please bear with me whilst we're getting that sorted out. So before we get into this video, I'm just gonna pop up the usual disclaimer to say that this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, and shouldn't be misunderstood or misconstrued as offering financial advice. So let's add some context to the scale of this problem we're gonna be talking about today. So the number of people expecting to pay tax on their savings is projected to triple over the next three years. And that's according to the HMRC, thanks to a freedom of information request made by AJ Bell. So the HMRC received 6.6 .6 billion pounds in interest last year from savings and they're expected to rake in about 10.4 billion pounds in interest on your savings this year. Just let that sink in for a minute. Now the HMRC projects that about 2.7 million people are going to pay income tax on their savings and that includes basic rate taxpayers as well as pensioners too. So this is not going to be a tax just paid by the wealthy. So let's have a look at the current breakdown provided by AJ Bell. There's going to be about a million basic rate taxpayers, about 600,000 higher rate taxpayers and about half a million additional rate taxpayers. So in the UK, saving money has always been a priority for many of us. Now, whether it's setting aside funds for emergencies, planning for a retirement, or even building wealth for the future, having a saving strategy is essential. However, what many savers don't realize is that their hard-earned income can be quietly eroded by taxes, and taxes that can be avoided with the right knowledge and the right financial tools. As more people are caught in this tax trap, you need to know how to protect your savings and how to maximize the interest on your income. So for many years, all bank accounts and ISID offered derisory levels of interest. And in many cases, this was very close to zero. And all this changed when interest rates started to rise to combat inflation to their current level of 5%. Now, according to the Bank of England's own data, we have about 250 billion pounds of our savings languishing in current accounts paying almost nothing. So how does this income tax on savings actually work in reality? Well, there are actually a couple of allowances that you could take advantage of, but as 90% of our audience is over the age of 50 years old and earning more than the average wage of 35,000 pounds a year, I'm gonna be focusing on the personal savings allowance or the PSA. So before 2016, our income tax on our savings was automatically deducted by our banks, so we didn't actually have to do anything at all. But since 2016, interest is now paid gross, and we're all expected to take care of this ourselves. So when the rules changed in 2016, at the same time, the PSA was introduced, and just like many other allowances that we've spoken about before, this has been frozen since then. This means that more people are gonna pay more tax on their savings over time. Now, basic rate taxpayers can receive a thousand pounds in interest on their savings tax-free. Higher rate taxpayers can receive 500 pounds in interest tax-free. 
but unfortunately, additional rate taxpayers, they don't get any PSA at all. Now, according to Money Facts, there are currently 1,558 accounts that offer interest rates that are higher than the current inflation rate of 2.2%. The problem is we're just not taking advantage of them. Now, this could be due to laziness or apathy or a lack of understanding or knowledge, but it is a big concern. Now, at the time of recording on the 25th of September 2024, the Best Buy Easy Access Bank account was offering 4.87%, and the Best One Year Fixed account was offering 4.95%. Now, to make the maths simple, I'm gonna round this interest up to 5%. So what that means is a basic rate taxpayer can have £20,000 of savings and a high rate taxpayer can have just £10,000 of savings. Above that level, they're going to trigger the PSA and then income tax is then going to be paid on the excess interest at either 20% or 40%. Now, maybe you're saving for retirement and you're not confident in investing in the stock market, or maybe you've just retired and you want to have a large cash balance to weather the storms of the financial markets. Either way, these cash balances don't seem very high to me. Now, one of the real tax traps though is failing to monitor your savings and interest especially if they're split across multiple accounts. Now, another trap to be wary of is the personal allowance, and that's been frozen at their current levels until 2028. This means that if you get a pay rise and your income from all sources, which includes a salary, a bonus, interest on savings, dividends or rent, and that's above 50,270, you're then gonna fall into the next income tax bracket and your PSA will then be reduced to just 500 pounds. Now it's also worthwhile mentioning that the Chancellor is looking to crack down on savers by giving the HMRC extra powers, which I've covered in a previous video, and I'm gonna link that at the end of this video, so please keep watching till the very end. Now that might be happening sooner than I thought, as I saw this article on my social media page today from the HMRC. And that is that 5,000 new HMRC compliance officers are being hired to help check up on all of us. So if you're finding value in this video, please hit the like and the subscribe button. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribed. So you know the drill by now, if you can please turn your device sideways so you can see the video just a little bit better, and then settle in for the second half. You can also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of this valuable content, which normally comes out around five o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. So what options are gonna be open to you to avoid paying this interest on your savings? Well, thankfully, there are a number of options to shield your interest income from unnecessary taxation. Number one is to maximize your ISA allowance. Now, the ISA remains one of the best tools to safeguard your savings from tax. You can invest up to £20,000 per tax year in an ISA, and all the interest earned is completely tax-free. That means there's no assessment and no additional paperwork that's needed to declare this to HMRC. What that means is in reality is that you could have enough savings in the bank up to your PSA limit, and then any excess savings could then be put into a cash ISA. But what type of ISA? Well, you need to consider a flexible ISA. Now a flexible ISA allows you to withdraw money and then replace it within the same tax year without affecting your annual ISA allowance. A standard ISA will not allow you to do this option. So this flexibility means you can dip into your ISA for short-term spending without sacrificing the long-term tax efficiency of an ISA. Now, if you're not sure you've got a flexible ISA, make sure you speak to your bank or to your provider just to be sure. Another option, of course, is to use premium bonds. Now, another tax-free option is premium bonds, and they're offered by National Savings and Investments, or NSNI. Now, you can invest a total of £50,000 in premium bonds. That's in total, and that is not per tax year. Now, while premium bonds don't pay interest in the traditional sense, 
you do get entered into a monthly prize draw with a chance of winning tax-free cash prizes ranging from £25 up to the maximum of a million pounds. Now, for those of us of a certain age, and this won't be mentioned on other personal financial channels because they may be a little bit too young, the numbers are still picked out by the beloved Ernie, who has been doing it since 1957. So as you can see on screen, the expected winnings should translate to an interest rate of about 4.4% and that'll be tax free. But that's not guaranteed and those amounts are going to vary depending on the look that you have and the amount they have invested. So the more you invest, the higher the chances of winning. Now I'm going to be investing £10,000 of my own money in premium bonds in a future video. And then I'm going to track the winnings that I receive over a year and then we'll report that back to you. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you won't want to miss that video. Now the odds of winning in the premium bonds are relatively low, about 21,000 to one for every one pound investing. Although the odds of winning are relatively low, premium bonds do offer a secure government-backed savings option that avoids the tax trap altogether. Now, many savers will also find that premium bonds can add an element of excitement to their savings plan whilst offering a guaranteed tax-free status on any winnings that they do get. Plus, they are fully secure, backed by the UK government, and that ensures a big peace of mind. So if you've received an inheritance or indeed a bonus at work, or even sold a property, then you might have high levels of cash and premium bonds might be something to consider up to the 50,000 pound limit. Now, of course, you can also use your pensions for your excess savings as well, up to the annual allowance of 60,000 pounds gross per year. Now, many providers are gonna offer a cash facility and many will pay 1% under the bank rate. So that's going to be 4% today without any tax deducted at all. But don't forget, you're also going to be entitled to get tax relief on any contribution you make as well. And that makes this option even more attractive. So that may mean an extra boost to your savings of 20%, 40%, or even the high level of 45%. So apart from the cash facility, you could also consider a lower risk investment into their money market funds as well. And that may give you a variable rate of interest, which I've checked, and that's currently as of today, 5.2% less any of the fees that they may charge for that particular fund. So when you fast forward to withdraw that money, please be aware that you're gonna to have to pay income tax on anything that you take out from your pension. Now access to pensioners is currently age 55, but that's gonna be rising to age 57 in 2028. So make sure that this is a suitable option for your circumstances before you take the leap and make that contribution into your pension. So in conclusion, it's clear that whilst the UK tax system does offer some protection for savings interest through the PSA, rising interest rates and increasing personal wealth may mean that more people are unknowingly being dragged into this tax trap. So by using these tax tools like ISAs, flexible ISAs, premium bonds, or your pension, but importantly, staying aware of your income tax band and how much interest you're earning between multiple accounts, you can protect your savings and steer clear of these tax traps. I've also included these links to other videos in the series about the increased powers to spy on your bank account, but also how to get access to your pension savings efficiently. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the video and for your time and for your patience as always. And we'll see you all again next week.